what you have to do first is hold control and click on the text. All right, perfect. Next step. And now you selected uh, this, you have this selected, please don't select, deselect and you're gonna have to click on here and then uh, here and then here select solid color. Now click on OK. Now please go in filter. So go in filter pixelate and then crystallize and here click on OK but that's too much so I'm gonna press Ctrl plus Z and now pixelate crystallize and let's uh, zoom out a bit more this and decrease this Okay, now looks good. Now the next step is to, uh, here we have the mask, please right click on the mask. So let me zoom in. So right click on the mask and then here you have mask options. And also select and mask. So click on select and mask. Now we are here. And here we're going to have to go to global requirements and increase the smooth and the contracts. Like also to add some feather here. And of course, some smooth and contrast. Click on OK now. Now to make this look even better, so we can select again the mask, go to filter, pixelate and crystallize. And you actually increase this even more. About like this. And then we can go to edit and then fade crystallize. Make sure here you select screen and OK. And it's good to also grab this uh, and drag all the way to about 50 or less. Now I have another another method for you, which will be like not method number two. By the way, you can also right click on this and select convert to a smart object. Uh, step number two now, go to filter here, filter, distort and then you have here ripple something like this and now to smooth this out usually i go to noise so let me zoom in probably will help you noise and then uh, median and here just crank this up to maybe 13 or 22 depends it's up to you depends on what you have there and then you can also go here and uh, filter and we can go to and add some noise Okay. Now uh, another method would be number uh, number three. We can also we have the text here. I could start all over again, but let's say I have this text again, and I can uh, just grab an image, save that image, and then go back to Photoshop and save that image as a Photoshop file. Okay. Let's say this is the photo I like, and I like this texture. I will save this file, export this file, not as a PNG, but as a Photoshop file. And here, make sure you select Photoshop and then save. Now we have this saved. Let's go in filter. 
make sure you select this or this one and then I'm gonna check this then let's go to filter sorry let's go to filter and the sort and this place and here let's try 10 okay and select here the one we just saved you can also add this to it just you just create a text and then you go to this word this word place place convert okay select this and now you'll have this effect as you can see pretty nice now you have this exact pattern effect uh, texture that the picture has and embedded or added to this uh, this text and now another really nice effect just bring back a photo select a photo go to filters and then here in filter gallery make sure you can also convert this to a smart object and now we can add really nice effect uh, let's add this effect first let's go and filter gallery and now we're gonna add this there's some artistic uh, there's a couple of them that I use a lot and the one it's this one and this works nice for this effect we're trying to achieve as you can see is this one here graphic pen and then you click OK and now you have really nice effect that you can add some text uh, above on this picture now I'm gonna show actually a really nice trick so let's actually go back control plus Z and let's go back here in filter and then filter gallery it's not a trick but it's a practice it looks looks very nice so when you add this pen uh, you know here of course you can change uh, the light darkness stroke uh, length and you can decrease this you can decrease this pretty much a lot but the thing that I want to show you is this that you can click on this button here now you can create a basically a new layer so let's click on this and now we can select this one here so as you can see the 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 effect looks pretty nice and now you can uh, change play with uh, this settings you can add here let's say something like this looks good you can even go back now to this one and change here some of the settings And have this kind of look yeah you know, we can add here even more let's say we add another one and then a stamp this one gives you really nice results 